you know what? You can you can tell when somebody starts talking about something how invested and passionate they are about it. Hey guys, I was reminded of one time I had the chance to speak with a certified diabetes educator who had gone to school and done intensive studying on the incidence of diabetes and how it's growing over the years. And she she was funny. She said to me, she goes, I don't believe that the incidence of diabetes is rising. I believe that people have become, they're becoming more aware of the fact that it is high blood sugar that are, that's causing things like heart attacks, stroke, you know. The, the leading causes of death historically may actually have been attributed to high blood sugar or undiagnosed diabetes. Which is very likely, and I'm like, wow, that's why so many people that are diagnosed with diabetes are told they're kind of like blindsided when they go in for their annual checkup and the doctor's like, oh, I see your fasting blood sugar was Nobody should be blindsided with the diagnosis of diabetes, but if you're diagnosed early enough with diabetes, I have to be very diplomatic and delicate in the way I say this. Sometimes the the diagnosis could actually be rewarding, if I could even say that, because you start to realize, wow, I could have been functioning more perfectly as a machine, you know, with the food that I eat and the energy I produce and the normalization of glucose levels. You don't need to be fatigued and tired and not sleeping well at night and you know hungry after you're eating these are all things that people kind of just attribute to oh i'm getting older it's aging no it doesn't have to be and chances are it's probably not how many times have you noticed things not being as efficient as they were as when you were younger and just kind of pass it off to getting older. Tweet me at Ali's Voice, subscribe here on YouTube, or subscribe to the e-news at Ali'sVoice.com. And I'll see you next time, guys.